Alright guys, my name is Yoon Kim and in this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about A school. So the life in A school, how A school is like and all that kind of stuff. But before I begin, I want to share with you one interesting thing that I found uh, in regards to performance, uh, in, in regards to uh, advancement. So when you are in advancement for E4, 5, 6, and 7, you know, what, what are the percentage-wise breakdown of what they look for? So I'm not going to go over with you, and I don't feel like I can go over with you every single thing, but this is what I can share with you. How long you are in that rate, so let's say I'm an E4, third class petty officer. Uh, let's say I was in for, you know, I'm third class for three years, right? And it's a score out of 100. Only 1% out of 100 counts. Only 1%. How long you are in the, the time, your service, of that rate, particular rate, only counts for 1%. So remember how I was, how I was talking to you guys about uh, education is much more important. That kind of hit hit the nail on the head right there uh, when I when I saw that. And this uh, information is available uh, as far as where I found it is once you are in the Navy. This uh, this information will be available to you. But going right into uh, you know uh, a school life, right? Is uh, school. The duration of the school and where you go uh, depends on your job. And if I can find it, I, I saw it on the website one time, where you go and how long it was approximately. Uh, I'll try to put that in the links down in the description if I can find it. And some of the points that I want to talk about with school is it's extremely competitive uh, because uh, if you do become top of your class when you graduate, uh, you, get, you do get promoted. Okay, so let's say if you're E1, you get to E2, E2 to E3, and, and E3 is the max you can come out uh, of boot camp. But after school, uh, there are some people that I've heard came out of A school uh, on top of their class, and within a month they became E4. So that's a so they were in for four months, a uh, five months total. In, in the Navy career, and they made E4, and that's a huge, huge, huge um, competitive edge uh, in terms of if you want to be, if you want this as a career, uh, that's a huge advantage over a lot of people, and that makes you, makes you shine, because along with that comes awards and all that kind of stuff. So uh, next point is a lot of information in a short period of time. So, A school can be from, you know, a week, two weeks, to nine months. So, uh, for me, it was, you know, two months. And how I felt was they basically got a lot of information, fed you the information. And when you get to your job, you're not going to maintain, you're not going to know and, and thoroughly learn every single information. Maybe the people who are in it for nine months, they'll really understand because they'll be more hands-on. Uh, because some schools, what I feel uh, they are trying to do is uh, equip you with the tools and the notes that you took and, and a brief overview. And when you get to your department, when you get to your job, you're not going to do every single job uh, that, that you learn. So for me, for example, you know, LS... <clears throat> you know, we also order parts, we handle mail, uh, we do uh, financial tracking, all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm not going to do every single one. If I was in for 20 years, would I, could I possibly do every single one? Yes. Uh, but uh, in, in terms of being in it for four or five years, right, I, I believe you're not going to do every single job. And, and I know, and I can kind of confidently say that, you're not going to do every single job. Uh, you, you might be able to do it for a little bit, 
but if you want to truly understand it and be you know an expert in your subject uh, you're going to have to be with a job for a good you know two years uh, before you know you feel like all right I kind of want to try different stuff anyway uh, that's just my opinion but uh, going to the next one is the uh, the liberty policy. <clears throat> so if your if your school is a short duration, uh, it, it depends. If you're in it for like two months compared to nine months, if you're in it for two months, they kind of give it to you, right? Uh, you get certain privileges where where you can wear you know civilian clothes, uh, you can go out for out on town for two three nights and come back. Uh, whereas in if you're in school for like a longer period of time, you have to earn it, maintain it, and try not to lose it. Uh, because if you lose it, now you have to be, you know, behave, you lose certain privileges, and you earn it back. So, you know, you get to wear clothes, go out to places, uh, and, and be able to go out for different, you know, multiple nights stay overnight at you know at the town hotel whatever uh, but one of the biggest thing is uh, just be careful don't drink and drive don't in, in most part you know don't try not to drink at all if you're not a drinker if you don't drink try not to drink in the long run in my opinion it's going to be much uh, beneficial to you because uh, in, in some places right if you drink and drive and you get caught you're done you're out of the Navy just like that so you might have spent the last you know a year two years three years or even maybe ten years doesn't matter you, know, you might have been in for ten years drink and drive you're done it's that simple uh, in some places and the last thing that I want to talk about in regards to a school is technology right <clears throat> Technology, a lot of times after graduations, uh, at, after graduation and boot camp, uh, you meet your family at the airport before you leave. And then, you know, they, if they brought it, uh, you should call when you're in boot camp and say, hey, mom and dad, bring my laptop, phone, whatever, uh, to the airport so we can meet. And um, you can have it with you uh, within a school. And a lot of times people go to a school and their family sends them by mail uh, their stuff. And, and some, one of my friends went as far as, uh, you know, he got a big computer screen, uh, laptop speakers and all that crazy, crazy stuff just for gaming. But, you know, it made him happy and that's, that's what it is. But one of the biggest thing is uh, stay neat, stay clean. Uh, and make sure you secure your stuff afterwards, okay? So that's all, all I can talk to you guys about. But that's really it as regards to A school. Uh, you can go out places. Uh, it's it's much more, a little bit lenient. Well, much more lenient uh, as far as boot camp. You're treated a little bit better, differently. So, so main takeaways, right? Main takeaways, A school is extremely competitive. Uh, and try to do the best that you can, all right? And if you like this video, if it helped, press that thumbs up button, subscribe for more, leave any comments, questions, and recommendations for future videos that you have down below. Thank you.